Hello. We will start with a cube. I'll make a basic shape and then add materials to help you understand how this is done. Here I am creating a mesh within a mesh or within the same object to show how to apply materials in such a situation. Now I am creating a new mesh as a separate object. Now we can start applying different materials to these objects. Let's rename them for easy identification. We had created a mesh within a mesh and to add a material here we must use the edit mode to select the required faces and then assign the new material to the selected faces. To select faces within the same object, we can press the L key. It always selects the connected faces. Let's assign the material to the selected faces using the assign button. I am just changing the colors of each material to show how they are applied. Now we can add a new material to the third object just using the material tab since it's a new object. Now we have a total of three materials with three names. After this we have to now UV unwrap the objects. This step is mandatory since Substance Painter requires objects to be UV unwrapped before you can create textures. As a starting point we can use the Smart UV project to unwrap the meshes. Now for the object with two meshes, first I'll unwrap each material individually to show how it works in a substance painter. Now let us save the objects as FPX. Make sure the path mode is set to copy to ensure the materials and textures are embedded correctly. Now open the Substance Painter and import the mesh. You can select the FPX file and click open. If there is any issue with the FPX, nothing will be imported and an error message appears. So here we can see there is an error. Once we click it, we can see what the error actually is. It says here that uh, there are overlapping faces during the UV unwrapping in the object with two meshes. Probably because we unwrapped them separately. Now we can easily fix it by unwrapping them and giving a small margin between the faces. To do that, hop onto Blender and open the file. Select the object and tab into edit mode. Select all faces using A. Now hit U to unwrap all the faces. Let's also add a small island margin to ensure that all the faces are separate and nothing is overlapping. Now we can export the mesh again as before. Reopen the same FPX in Substance Painter. Uh, now you can see the object and it's time to create the textures. Here you can see the three materials created in Blender. So basically you can add as many materials to objects in Blender and each one will be visible here for painting separately. You can use these layers just like how you use Photoshop to paint. As a starting point, I'll just drag and drop some materials onto those layers to see how easy it is to texture objects.
You can also use the brushes to paint manually and use the masks for masking out certain regions to add details etc. A whole lot of options are available here. Now once you have added the textures, you can export them as a JPEG or a PNG image and use them in other applications. Now you can specify the folder where you need to save the textures. You can also enable or disable what materials and textures you need to save. Now once you have saved the textures, go back into Blender. Click on the object and then the material which you need to add the textures. Now open the shader editor. Click on the principal shader and hit Ctrl Shift T to open the texture setup menu. From the texture folder, you can select all the textures based on the material name and click on the principal texture setup. That's it. Blender will automatically add the textures onto the objects and you'll be able to see them in a viewport shading mode. Now you can repeat this for all the materials in your scene and finally render your scene. Have fun. Thanks for watching.